Hi everyone. Uh, it's been a while since I posted a video. I've uh, been really busy lately, so I haven't had a chance to go fishing or um, do any of that at all. And uh, wouldn't you know it, the last uh, couple of weeks, everything's been blowing up as far as fishing is concerned. The yellows down at the uh, Coronado's been wide open every, every day, it seems, uh, when the wind's not blowing. The uh, bluefin offshore is actually biting. And the, um, for the last four or five days or so, the uh, white sea bass up in Ventura has been going, it's been on fire. Uh, I think they, they limit it out every day practically. Uh, this morning again, they limited out, uh, the boats were reporting that they limited out before for eight or nine, uh, nine o'clock in the morning, uh, which is awesome. But like I said, I've been way too busy to, um, to be going fishing and it's, it's been killing me. Um, and I, I'm not, I'm sure I'm, I'm like most of you guys. For, for me, when I can't fish, uh, what I do is I, I tend to watch a lot of YouTube videos, obviously just to go keep, um, engage in fishing and I tend to be buying a lot of stuff, buying a lot of fishing gears. So whenever I can't fish, I just spend it seems. So just want to do a video, video, um, going over some of the stuff that, that I bought. Uh, so it's pretty cool actually. Uh, not these, these are, these are brand new. Uh, they're pretty standard. I, I picked these up a couple weeks ago. This is a Trinidad 16A and I'm sure, I'm sure you guys, uh, all know about these reels, I don't have to go too much about them, go in too much about them here. This is a Torium 16. So I would, I would use these this uh, this season. I just happened to pick them up because uh, they, uh, they they were good deals and I was itching to buy something. But these are the reels that I'm really excited about. These are some, some used uh, used reels, some old reels. Look, look at this thing that I, I uh, bought. Um, this is a, a, an accurate 197 Boss Magnum, and it's in the uh, special edition color. I love this, this is, this is awesome. Um, glad I picked this up, and I had, I had one of my uh, True Line rod uh, handle changed, so it matches the color. You can check that out on my Instagram. Yeah, that's, uh, that's another thing that's new. I started an Instagram account, uh, finally, for the, for the channel, and it's, uh, it's called Jig slingers, when that's jig, jig slingers fishing. Um, so if you if you uh, check me out on that and follow me on there, you would see all the uh, the pictures that I posted for uh, for this reel. So yeah, look, look me up on that. Uh, that'd be great. Let me see what else did I pick up? Pick up this uh, this uh, Shimano Speedmaster three. This reel used to be sweet back in the old days for throwing surface iron it's just really smooth this is i think this is pretty much the uh, predecessor to, to the trinidad's prior to to uh, the trinidad's all shimano has were these these reels as far as uh, surface iron and, and bait and things like that and look look how much it spins and this this is what we used to do a lot to old reels we don't do this to new reels too often anymore. I think some of the old, some of the newer reels you can't really do this, but you kind of spin the hand all around like that and see how much it's fun. So much it's uh, ripped my tape off. So let's do that again. Yeah, look how much it's spinning. The tape keep coming off, so I didn't, uh, I didn't want to spin, spin it that hard. And it's, it's awesome. Another reel I picked up is a Grand Wave, Daiwa Grand Wave. Uh, this is pretty much the reel that inspired uh, the Sartiga now. Look how much free spool it has. So I'm so excited to, um, to fish these reels this summer. So after I got these reels, I was searching around for a good clamp to use with them. Um, this one I happened to pick up really cheap in it, it was, wasn't, um, there wasn't a clamp uh, with it. So I found this guy that makes this awesome, look at this, it makes it this awesome trigger clamp. And he has them in different colors for all these older reels. And also for the, the, new, the new reels, um, it actually fits on, on the Tiburon's, uh, all the Tiburon frames for the, the newer reels as well. 
So I wanted to give that a give these a try and share it with you guys out there. Um, I haven't cast uh, used these to cast yet. Uh, I'm go I'm going to um, after this and then um, share the results in this uh, this video here as well. But as you can see here, it fits it fits right on, and it should should be able to give me. Um, yeah, I, I usually don't like triggers uh, because I. I feel like they're in the way, but for these, if I feel like I can really lean on them to cast. So we'll see how it goes. Um, let me go out, try out, try them out in the bay, and then um, so I'm here out in the harbor. Um, gonna try these these things out and see how they cast. We'll uh, we'll start out with that that um, that Speedmaster, that Shimano reel, and then uh, then we'll go through the other reel. can see it's really windy I'm casting straight into a headwind and um, we got it out there pretty good so now we'll uh, we try the Daiwa and I want to test out this uh, this stick bait as well see uh, see how it swims when your line is very important when you uh, cast it's, uh, you don't need to burn your finger especially with stick bait. Right now we're gonna do the new the um the die was, was really smooth. I, I like it uh, and the uh, trigger clamp the line. So now we're gonna do the uh, trigger clamp on the new one and, and see if this uh, see if it helps with this this reel. This rod is not really a trick stick, it's a that's J85 secret SJ85 It's really a bait rod. Tip is really whippy. So we'll we'll see how it goes. Again, keep your uh, beginning until it lands in the water so it's really important even on your back cast to keep your eyes on your, your jig Clamp. 
really works with this reel. Helps it a lot. Yeah, so I'm back from the uh, from the harbor. The wind was really whipping uh, today. I was casting straight into a headwind, so it made it uh, a little bit difficult. But uh, but it's it's fine. I really like the way this this reel uh, performs. So both reels uh, actually. So I'm looking forward to using these uh, a lot more this uh, this summer. So for you guys out there that you know don't want to spend four or five hundred bucks for a reel like this, or even two hundred bucks for a reel like that, you know you can go and find these pretty cheap around swap meets and wherever you can find them. Um, probably 40, 50 bucks, I'm, I'm sure. And I actually upgraded the, um, the drag on both of these reels to carbon tex drag. Um, so they put out a lot more, more drag, uh, maybe close to 20 pounds or maybe even over 20 pounds. And that's plenty for, uh, for the things that I, I wanna do with these, these reels. And as far as the clamps, the clamps are superb. I, I really like them uh, for both the uh, the Daiwa and the, the Newell. Um, it really helps you cast. Really, you can really lean into your cast quite a bit. So I'm gonna get more of these. Um, his name is John. I wanna get his information. I'll post it on the uh, the description of the video, so you can you guys can um, reach out to him and uh, and check out um, check out his clamps. Or, you know, at least grab one too to give it a try. And it, that, like I said, it fits on all of these reels, and they're 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 amazing. Oh yeah, one more thing I was testing out uh, are these stick baits. I, I bought I got a few of these online, and they uh, they seem like they swim really well. I was casting them earlier on one of the rods, and uh, they seem they swim pretty similar to a surface iron, and I think that I you can work them. In a lot more ways than you than you can a surface iron, so I'm going to experiment with these uh, these baits this summer and see if the uh, see if the yellows would hit them. I'm pretty sure tuna would hit these no problem. Uh, I want to see if I can get a yellow to to hit it because if a yellow can hit this, ooh, that would that would be uh, pretty fun. Well, uh, yeah, that's what I wanted to share today with you guys about these uh, these reels that that I just got. As far as my fishing schedule is concerned, I have a, um, a charter trip this, uh, this coming weekend, but it's, it's more experimental than, than really fishing. You guys will, will, will see what, what I'm talking about when I post the, uh, the video. And then my real, the next time that I'm, I'll be on a real fishing trip, it's on a charter, Moon's, Moon's Custom Rods Charter um, in May, in early May. I'm looking forward to that. Uh, I'm sure there's gonna be a lot of talent on board. Uh, hopefully we'll get in, um, into something that wants to bite. Okay, see you next time. Please like and subscribe.